right. We have a lot to talk about as we take our uh, our magic carpet ride tour across uh, pro football here. Drew Brees, he's now the all-time passing leader. He'll soon have the touchdown record as well. Does that mean he's the greatest uh, quarterback of all time? The game of football, especially at the quarterback's position, is all about wins. And so winning is the ultimate thing for quarterbacks. You can throw – Matt Ryan is thrown for a ton of yards. All these different things, but they never won the big one. So is he up there? Is he considered one of the best? No. It's just not. And then, granted, I know there's guys like Trent Dilfer who win or Joe Flacco who have won one, and that's understandably so, but they're not up there with the numbers, right? So they have to match. The numbers and the they're, wins those have guys, to match. Those guys are human exceptions that prove the overall rule. Exactly. Every once in a while, a guy's going to sneak through. Nick Foles is one, the reigning yeah, champion. Yeah, exactly. Champion. Case I, Keenum was in there, right. now we see what he looks like now. But right. what I was saying was that, you know, Ben, I would rather Big Ben Roethlisberger. This is, I think, what got people over the edge. I was like, you would put Big Ben higher than you would Drew Brees, and people went ballistic. Are you kidding me? I was like, well, listen, he's won consistently his whole career. He has one losing season his whole career, one losing season. By the way, and they perennially go to the playoffs all the time, and he has the numbers, and he's won two Super Bowls. And still, they start giving out more than one Lombardi every year. It does matter how many you win. Exactly. And it also, by the way, until they cancel the postseason and they just decide at, at uh, on New Year's uh, on New Year's Day, like we feel like, let's take a vote of Football America. We think that team's the best. Until that's how they start deciding things and actually playing the postseason, then it does matter who wins at the sport's most important position. And so then I say this. So then I say, okay, I get it. You know, I was like. Eli Manning, you have to put him in that conversation because he has the yardage. Not for the all-time greatest. No, he, no, no, but I mean, he's up there because he has the yardage and he has the wins, right? Um, uh, Super Bowl wins, at least. And so people, you know, they started coming at me. You don't know what you're talking about. What's going on? So I said, okay, who is your greatest quarterback of all time? Aaron Rodgers. See, I say Tom Brady. I know, and I know that Rodgers only has one, and that does – undermine exactly what I just said uh, not exactly. 60 but he, seconds But he has ago. yards and he has MVP trophies. He has a ton of accolades that Drew Brees doesn't have.